Okay, hi, and welcome to another installment of Math Basics and Mr. Besh. Today we're going to use our prior knowledge and skill to calculate the surface area of a rectangular pyramid. Now, before we begin, I must pause. You should have watched the video and already been through the lessons on how to calculate the surface area of a square pyramid because the, the technique used is very similar, except the fact of the triangular faces on the square pyramid were all the same left to right to front and the back. But on a rectangular pyramid, that's different. The left and right triangular faces are the same, but the front and back, they're different than the left and right. So that's very important that you understand how to calculate the surface area of a square pyramid first. Now, as I run down through my checklist, things you need to know. The Pythagorean theorem again. A squared plus B squared equals C squared, because again, we are going to find the slant height of my triangular faces. But this time, not just one of them, two of them. And then we need to calculate the areas of a triangle and a square. The triangle being one half times the base times the height and the square being the side times itself. As you can take a look, our goal is to calculate the surface area of a rectangular pyramid. Looking at my model here, my base is 15 by 25 in my rectangle. That means that the left and right sides of my square on the bottom are 25 feet apiece and the front and the back are both 15. And the height of my pyramid, the distance from the peak straight down perpendicular in the center of my base is 8 feet. Okay? What I need to do like that of finding the uh, surface area of a square pyramid is again I need to draw a cross section. But please take a look at my diagram. I am not just doing one, I am doing two because there are two different slant heights. You see, the triangle on the left face and the triangle on the right face have exactly the same slant height. But the triangle in the front and back face have a different slant height value. All right? You just simple common math when you see the Pythagorean theorem and how it breaks down to B. As you can see from my two cross sections, the one that has the red, the blue, and the black, all right, I know that the height for both of my triangles I'm going to have is 8 feet, but my blue base on my one triangle is going to be half of 15 and my green base of the other triangle is going to be half of 25 feet. Take some time, look at this picture and get some perspective of where these measurements are coming from. Green is half of 25 feet, blue is half of 15 feet. So now when I apply my Pythagorean theorem, it's going to look like this. These are going to be my values. Half of 15 is 7.5, and half of 25 is going to be 12.5. So then I go through and I do the Pythagorean theorem for each. 8 times 8 plus 7.5 times 7.5, and, and then the square root of this value comes out to be 10.97 feet. That's my missing value, my slant height. That is labeled in red. Now, I color-coded this for a reason, so everybody doesn't get lost, OK? 10.97 goes with the red value, using the Pythagorean theorem. Again, I do this, and this time, when I go through my Pythagorean theorem, 8 times 8 plus 12 and a half times 12 and a half comes out to be 220.25. And the square root of that is 14.84 feet. This goes along with the color-coded purple slant height, which are basically the heights of the triangles in the front and the back. Now, we need to sum this all up. First thing that we need to know, the areas of my two triangles, they're different. The left and right triangle faces are going to have a bottom, a base of 25, and they're going to have a height of 10.97. The triangles in the front and the back are going to have a base of 15, and the height will be 14.84. Remember, the front and the back go with the purple line, and the left and the right go with the red line. And when I use the formula 1 half times the base times the height, just like I did with the square, instead of multiplying by 4 the last time, I'm going to be multiplying by 2 apiece, respectively, because the front and back triangles are going to be the same, congruent, and the left and right triangles are going to be the same, congruent. When I do the left and right triangular faces combined together, I get 274.25 feet squared. And when I do the front and back triangular faces together, I get 222.6 feet squared. I need to take these two numbers, add them together, last but not least, with my rectangular base, which is 15 times 25, which gives me 375 feet squared. And when I combine these three values, 274.25, plus 222.6, plus 375, I get a grand total, a sum of 871.85 feet squared. And this is how you calculate the area of a rectangular pyramid. 
I hope you find this lesson both helpful and informative.